I feel a rant coming on that I'm gonna try to avoid trying to gather myself. I, I get tired of coming across stuff that was just done half, half you know what. Uh, it's frustrating. A couple of things going along with the coachman. Uh, I got a, it, it needs, it needs corrected. Um, I gotta get on here, we'll get back, we'll get back to that. It, it's, it just makes my head spin when I see how um, some things were done by you know, so-called professionals. Really, I, I can see some things where you're an individual just trying to figure things out and do it yourself. You get some slack there. Sometimes you, you try and you learn, but you know, when you do it professionally or you're a business, you ought to know what you're doing and you ought to have a, you ought to do a better job. How's that? All right, um, I'm gonna do something here about the van. Let's, let's go over here real quick. Uh, it's starting to rain. All right, most of you know this is my primary vehicle and uh, its number one job is, uh, it's just a daily driver. Something to go to the store, go visiting, uh, go get parts. Uh, you know, it's just my, it's like having my car. Yeah, it's, it's my, I chose a van. I've had uh, mostly utility vehicles in the past, like uh, pickup trucks mostly. And uh, went to a couple of cars and then I thought, you know, these cars are kind of, they don't serve me well. I wanted to go back to a utility vehicle that I could haul things in and tow with. Uh, I, these are much more useful to, in my world. Uh, but, so uh, the camping thing is a whole secondary, uh, that's a secondary function of it. We didn't get to use it this much this year at all for camping or uh, going on any trips. Uh, we did last year, that was fun, it worked out great, and we will again, I intend to, next year. But right now I need to get this thing ready to go. Uh, I think I mentioned in an earlier video that the van's going over to my oldest son's for the winter. He's going to use it a little bit. And so I focused on getting it ready to go. Uh, just like the getting the bounder out of my world, uh, for now I need to get this thing uh, uh, ready to go too. That leaves me with the coachman. And uh, I'm, I'm working on it right now. But uh, I cleaned it out already. Uh, there's got a, a pretty cool upgrade I wanna show you real quick. And I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, it is a, a product review. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be long-winded. I'm not gonna, just gonna take a minute or two and show you this cause it's a real, um, it saves me a lot of space in it. it I have more, more floor space now and that's pretty big to me with this size van you know it's not the larger extended van or the high top van it's just a standard work van so i don't have the room that some of the bigger vans have uh, of course i have more room than a minivan would have but still uh let me move, move a couple things here that big cooler is now gone uh, i had that nice 12 size 12 volt cooler here and it stood up so high and you know where do you put it over here in front of the bed or over in front of the uh the workstation and stuff or uh you know bella gets in and out of here you know you know between that being in here that only leaves me with this little floor space so i have this refrigerator this company uh sent this to me to review and uh it's it's pretty sweet uh and it just frees up all this floor space and i'm i'm really happy about this uh so just real quickly here it's like most well it's 12 volt it's really quiet it's um doesn't use much power it runs off my uh, lithium battery here uh it'll run off 12 uh lead acid battery, whatever type of battery it doesn't use much power you know that hooks um my solar keeps that charged up uh this one thing nice about this let me show you this here it, it does have a little light in here uh and i just keep uh, because we're not camping and stuff in this year, I, I don't have foods in here, but I do keep cold drinks in here all the time. So there's always cold water in here. I just leave this on all the time. It has a little, oops, what I do? Oops. Oh, that actually has like a shelf too. Uh, it'll slide out. Anyway, that's the freezer. Yeah, it's as hard as a rock. 22 degrees right now. Uh, it has a little upper shelf here. It has a little lower, sh lower shelf, uh, which it slides out and is the adjustable and a little crisper in here. So, yeah, a couple door things. That is just big enough. You can put a two liter. I tried it out, a two liter um, uh, thing of, uh, you know, soda pop or uh, a half gallon of milk. That will fit in here. Uh, so, you know, it's not huge, but you know what? For the kind of weekend trips or, or a week, two weeks, uh, like we did last year at a time, this is plenty. It's out of the way. Uh, oh, here's a, here's a cool feature, okay? Door opens that way, right? 
black like that the weapons this way too <laughs> that is that is really really cool um yeah i've had this for a while a couple months now actually and uh it just it just it just runs i just leave it on all the time works great love it so i th i think that's all i'm gonna say about it without bogging you down with a bunch of boring details that don't matter anyway you plug it in it does what you want it to do what what more needs said right and don't need to take it out of a box and yeah all right uh i'll leave the link to this exact model down in the video description and uh well take you to their website you can browse around if you want some of their other products or other coolers they have both uh residential and commercial uh some that are all glass front for uh so you can just see what beverages are in there you know some are like wine coolers or um beer coolers or what yeah you, know, you can see your inventory without having to open the door or or, or look and decide on what you want instead of standing up the door open yeah uh, it's a pretty nice stuff but yeah from small to large um and they have like uh cigar heaving doors and you know other refrigeration stuff and, and that's what they do is refrigeration they don't have a bunch of other categories they're refrigeration people so uh, again i'll put that link down there um you're welcome to check this out if you want to see more specifically more you know uh, exact dimensions and you know all that stuff is, is easy to find on there and, and plus look at their other products so that's that we're gonna get back over to the coachman <sighs> just wait here is something that just drives me crazy uh that i just i can't um i've yanked the battery out of it okay here's the original battery tray uh it's still in fair condition it, this one corner is rusted out but uh, you know 90 percent of the support is there i'm not going to replace this i might fix this next year uh i might take a peek at it anyhow and but it's still it's still real solid and everything so uh but they put the wrong size battery in it okay they just before i bought this in march uh so i put a brand new battery in it and it was the wrong one it was too big it overhung by a couple of inches so it sat up on this lip so all that weight of it right in what concentrated in one area that instead of it sitting you know fully supported the whole, you know the whole way around you know a bunch of that weight just sat in that one that one rib under there you know that's not good for a battery uh and hanging over and then of course it didn't have room uh for the battery hold down or it got lost i don't know why they didn't put a proper battery hold down uh clamp on it because uh, they had a bungee not a bungee a, a ratchet strap holding it down i mean that is so mickey mouse in there or um what other clever little thing can i call that uh we'll, we'll just leave a go at that here's what i don't get why not buy if you're buying a new battery why not buy the right one why not buy the right size and uh, there's something going on with these windshield wipers too uh <laughs> i think the same thing happened with both that whoever worked on that probably said well okay it needs a battery well okay what size battery yeah instead of looking it up or, or or you know the auto parts store can look it up and say well it takes a group 78 battery a group 75 or a group 78 either one will work in that um so he must have just said i don't know it's big it's got a big engine in it just go get the biggest battery and you know <laughs> and that don't fit and i don't know it just makes my head spin and the same with the wiper blades the wiper blades are six inches too long okay three inches on each end why what they do the same thing probably said i oh, hear it's starting to rain even more look here i already fixed one of them look at the difference here okay okay which one looks right all right is it this one that overhangs uh the center and overlaps into the next over into the next windshield does that look a little bit too long and maybe a little bit too long on this end well this end would be okay but it's out of alignment too why not why not straighten it up okay yeah it was all like this these aren't even tight you know what 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 what, what are they doing here they're, they're anyway so i already put this one on uh yeah the other one hung way out here it was off the glass it's just it's hanging way out because the glass is curved it's way over here three inches hanging off the glass um i put her on there straightened it out tightened it down and uh and there that one's done 
that kind of thing just drives me nuts. Some shop did that. I have the receipts in there for all the work that was done to this just before I bought it. The lady that owned it, um, I, f I feel bad for her. She sunk a lot of money into this with new tires and brakes, and, or front brakes anyhow. Uh, new shocks and you know, a bunch of stuff she had done to it. Um, but you know, I look, looked at the invoice, it was all itemized and, and there's things, on, it is kind of bloated. They've s put some extra fat in there. One of the things were windshield, those windshield wiper blades, they charged between the blades, oh, and premium blades too, um, and labor, $77 to put wiper, the wrong wiper, the, the wrong wiper blades on it. Yeah, you could go down to an auto parts store and they put them on for free, right? And the auto, and the auto parts store probably would have, uh, I don't know. Maybe they had a better shot of putting the right, actually putting the right size on there too. How, how that, how that happens, um, I, I don't know. I don't, but I'm, but I'm fixing it. The other thing about that battery, now this really makes my head spin. All right, down here is that big battery. Oh yeah, well, not just the wrong size, but it's the wrong type. It's a, it's a deep cycle battery. And oops, hang on, let me, let me change the music here. There, I had to, I had to mute some music here before I get a copyright strike, right? So, I went out, I went out and bought a brand new battery. Now, some of you might think I'm crazy for doing this, all right? Uh, especially when you see <laughs> something like this. Here it is, 1021. I bought it three of 22. So they just put this uh, nice interstate deep cycle battery in it. And if I say, well, what kind of, yeah, what's, how big of a battery and what type? Well, are these take, take, take deep cycle batteries, right? Uh, well, they do for the house batteries, but the engine starting battery is a standard automotive type battery. It's not, it's not a, you don't put a deep cycle in for the engine starting. They use a regular automotive type for engine starting. Deep cycles are for the house stuff. So um, who knows, maybe there's some confusion there. Just go get a big battery, dang it. Hurry up, time's money, you know. <laughs> so it's a shame. It's a, it's a, it's a nice, pretty new, I mean, as of now, well, it's not quite October. This is still not quite a year old. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I already have, I'm already full. Yeah, I've got two batteries under the steps and i got two batteries back there. I wonder if there's room for one more, if I could squeeze one more in, <laughs> I don't know. But um, anyway, so I got this battery, okay? It's much smaller. So uh, now I'll take in mind, this one is sitting on a board, but, um, but you see it's, uh, okay, or even over here, and you see it's a uh, difference in length, okay? That one's a bit longer, it doesn't fit in the tray. This one here is uh, a new, uh, and I just spun these bolts in here just because uh, uh, I threw the charger on it just to make sure it was topped off. Uh, it was in pretty nice shape. So, and this one here is, this one hasn't been on a shelf long, okay? It was manufactured last month. So this must have just got to the store pretty recently. And, you know, batteries don't have to be real big to be powerful. This group size 78, uh they start out with um uh 630 cranking amps uh cold cranking amps this one and then there's a the next step up is like 700 and uh i bought a step up i got a good uh, an 800 uh cranking amp it's actually a thousand cranking amps uh down to what 32 degrees and even at zero uh fahrenheit now of course but uh it still has 800 even at that you know below freezing so it's it's a it's a good powerful battery they don't have to be big to be powerful that might have been the other thing somebody probably said well it's got that big it's got that big old engine in there that big four 454 cubic inch big block chevrolet in there get the biggest battery you can <laughs> so uh no the right size battery a good powerful one uh not a bottom shelf one by top shelf uh, this could be plenty, plenty, plenty. So, um, yeah, I could have worked. And this one probably would have had a short life. 
Uh, it wasn't designed for cranking um, engine starters. And and here, here's what's kind of crazy was, here was another battery tray I found underneath the dinette that was big enough. So uh, why did they jam it in that little one? Why didn't they take that little battery tray out of there? Well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't call it little. Why didn't they take the proper size battery tray out of there? And then if they were going that route, go ahead and put the big battery tray in it. Why did you, why? And with that battery tray, here's a, a universal um, battery hold down. Why, why didn't you finish the job? You know, why, why didn't you put the tray in it? Mount it, you know, put some bolts in it, uh, put the battery in it, put the hold downs on it, and be done. You know? uh, now let's put it in the wrong tray. And uh, okay, and let's uh, let's strap it down with that. Uh, what kind of work is that? Who does that? <sighs> so we're going to put the right size battery in. And the plus side here is uh, another benefit of putting the right size battery in it is this. Let's go to the van. Where's my other part? There it is. All right, the, the automotive type batteries have this little ledge down here. All right, it's a tapered tapered ledge, and there's a clamp that um, it, 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 once the battery's in, you put it up against that ledge, and the bolt goes through it, and uh, they snug that down, and it traps it. it and it, you don't need the over-the-top type clamp. So, um, in the uh, deep cycle batteries, they don't have that ledge. All right, that's just a flat at the bottom there. This is a, a tapered, uh, it's like for, you know, for retaining, for trapping it down. So, uh, yeah, this is what they should have put in it. Not this and that and that. And so, yeah, why not do it right? Why not do it right? Why couldn't they just do it right? We go through this all the time, don't we? Bell singer, well, you do. I just sit sit here and listen to you rant and rave about it. <laughs> right? See what I gotta go through, Bella? You see? You wanna go outside? Come on, let's go outside. Come on. Come on. Quit raining. Go find them bad rabbits. Where's the bad rabbits? Where's the bad deers? Huh? Where's the bad deers? <laughs> anyway, that stuff just drives me crazy. I'm going to get this other wiper on there. Get the battery in it. And I might not be done yet. This thing might need a new alternator too. <sighs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to that maybe in, in another video. I got to get the... That's it. I want to wrap this front, on here, uh, this front end up. Uh, these couple quick easy fixes not cheap that battery was over two hundred dollars but um oh well uh um then i'm just gonna go ahead and move to the inside i'm gonna get that engine cover off and we're gonna have a look at a couple things in there uh a couple of things i am pretty certain needs done and like that alternator and there's probably another All right, two that didn't even take long okay <laughs> it's not it's not that difficult to do it right There it is, the, the battery's in. It fits the tray properly. It, it sits down in it. Uh, there's the new clamp, okay? There's a, already, a, you know, there's a hole there for it. And, you know, the right size bolt and flat washer, the clamp that holds that down. Uh, that's it. it. It's in, it's done, except for, I forgot I needed to pick up the uh, the proper bolts. The, the other battery had the type of bolt set. Well, it had studs out of it with a nut on it. Well, this is a, this type takes the, uh, the bolt, so. I'm going to pick up two, uh, two brand new, where's the positive at, there it is, I'm going to pick up two uh, brandy new, uh, correct, proper bolts for this, and uh, just get it hooked up, and um, that'll be done, I got to run somewhere tomorrow, I'll just uh, I'll pick them up while I'm out, and uh, we can put that little job to bed, and these wipers, got them done too, alright, does this look better, let's, uh, let's step up here a minute, 
See, these actually have a little, there's a little disc in here that is, uh, has serrations on it. So you can, uh, you can adjust the angle of, of the blade. So just make it nice and straight and parallel uh, to the bottom here when it's in the off position. And uh, tighten it down and it stays. It's not all, it's all not all out of whack. And so in look, see now it only comes, it doesn't overlap. It doesn't come across and over to the next windshield. It comes up about three quarters of an inch short. And uh, like it's supposed to, like it should have been done. It just, that was just driving me, it's just dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I just don't know about these things. And the, the sad part about it is too, those jobs were both done at a shop. These are guys that ought to be able to look stuff up or be just be in the habit. That's part of their gig. That's Monday through Friday. They're out fixing parts. They're out fixing vehicles. And, you know, the guy at the auto parts store can look stuff up for you and I, right? This day and age, I mean, no, I have it set up. I have a, a, a folder of my favorites thing. I have it set up, all my vehicles set up on Advanced Auto, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, and Napa. So I can even, it's just sitting in here. I can go to any one of them, see price compare and see availability and stuff. I can click on whether I'm looking for parts for the van, I select it, or for this 1987 Chevrolet P30. Uh, I select what vehicle, if I want to search for a battery or whatever, uh, bang, it says group 75 or, or 78, either one's they're both compatible, they'll work. Not that big thing. Uh, you know, but I can look up the stuff myself. Why can't the and I've had people at the auto parts store, oh, don't get me started. The people at the auto parts store, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna bite my lip on that one. Uh, and so even the mechanics that do the work, uh, you gotta be able to recognize when the part is correct or it's too big or, uh, you know, it just makes my head spin. <laughs> I just don't get it. All right, I guess that's my rant, huh? Part of what makes that frustrating is, you know, those are brand new. They were pretty recent. They were a new battery, new wiper blades. I went out and bought all new because those weren't right. It's just, it's frustrating. And just the lack of work ethic and professionalism and just doing the job right. All right, uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. We'll be back soon. Uh, I'm gonna start knocking these projects out. Bang, bang, bang. Um, that's it, okay? <laughs> I'll see you later. And don't forget to check that link at the bottom of the video about that fridge, all right?